Hi there friends, this is Jana with Cedar Tree Technologies. Today we're going to get you started with your CT7 Rugged Tablet. Alright, so first things first, we have to turn the CT7 on. The power activation for the CT7 is located on the left, on right side of the device, towards the top. Now, it might be a little difficult to see because these are both black buttons, but there are two buttons up here. Uh, this lower one has that has a square imprinted on it is quick access to your camera. That'll come in handy later. And then the one above it, which you'll ha see has a circle with a line drawn halfway through it, that's going to be your power activation button. So you're just going to hold down that button for a couple seconds. So you see your device activate. There you go and you see the cedar tree welcome screen come up. The system will become active and shortly it'll direct you to the home screen. Now, most of the time your CT7 will come with at least a half charged battery, but if it doesn't turn on right away, that's no trouble. You just might have to charge it a bit. And if that's the case, then you're going to access the charging port, which is located on the bottom of the CT7. So you flip it over. All right, and as you can see, there's this protect protective rubber strip, which we've removed for easier access, and you can see two ports down here. There is a headphone jack, that's the circular port, and then this is the port to connect you to your charger. So you'll charge your CT7 enough so that you can get the device activated, and once, once you do, you're going to make, you want to make sure that you replace the rubber strip tightly onto the bottom of the device because it is important to keep these ports protected from water. So you just want to make sure that it lines up flush. There you go. Perfect. All right. And you see that the device has become active. It'll reorient itself. There we go. Now, before we get into the basic technical uses for the CT7, I would like to show you just a few other physical features of your device. At the top of the CT7, you see another one of those protective rubber strips, and if you remove that, that's going to give you access to two other important ports. Your this, this smaller one here on the left is a port for SD cards. That's going to come in very handy if you take a lot of pictures or video. That'll be additional storage for you. And the one to the right here is for your SIM card. We don't currently have a SIM card in this device, which means that we will not have service outside of a wireless area and we won't be able to make calls as of yet. But when you do decide to, to activate a SIM card, this is the port that you would put it in. And you're going to want a standard size SIM card. There are three main sizes of SIM cards. There are standard, micro, and nano. At standard is the largest and that's the one you're going to want for your CT7. All right, so once again, want to make sure that we put the rubber strip back on securely to protect the ports and keep your device secure. Uh, as I showed you before, you have the power button and the easy access camera button. Also on the right side of your device towards the bottom, you have Two, two more buttons, and these ones are going to be your volume buttons that you can use to, for making calls or when playing audio on your device. And to make sure that your tablet, your CT7 is as easy to use as possible, you're going to want to adjust the hand strap so that it fits securely onto your one hand. So in order to do that, you're going to peel back the flap on the hand strap, like so, and you will see a, another Velcro attachment right here this is th that is part of the upper part of the strap. If you peel that back, you can then pull it forward to tighten or put it back to loosen. In this case, I'm going to tighten it a bit because my hands are on the smaller side. So I'm just going to move it down here, secure the Velcro, and then secure the Velcro strap on top of it. And now when I hold it, the CT7 fits securely in my hand. All right, so now you've gotten to know your CT7 a little bit better. And uh, so now we're going to get back into some of the basic app functions of the CT7. So in order to do that, we're going to awaken the phone. If you, to awaken it while it's asleep, you press the home button, which is a is the center button, a little home icon right below the center of the screen. Put your finger on the padlock icon and move, slide it over to the lock. And that uh, unlocks your, your screen and gives you access to your home screen. Okay, so as we've no noted before, we don't have a SIM card in the tablet yet, so we won't be able to make calls, but we do have access to Wi-Fi, so we can hook up that to that right away. We are already connected to our Wi-Fi in the office, but we can also show you how to connect to a new Wi-Fi network. So in that case, you're going to, going to go to System Settings. You can access that a few different ways. We're going to go to the Apps menu, which is here in the center corner, and then you're going to 
you can see that you can scroll back and forth between your pages. And you're going to go up here to settings. And you see here, this is your WLAN. That's going to be your wireless network. You see that ours is on. And uh, it's, if you wanted to connect to a, a different network or a network for the first time, what you're going to do is you're going to select. You're going to select the network that you want, want to, to connect to. And you will, it will list the network name at the top and then it will ask you for a password if it's a secure network. If that's the case, then you type that in, you press connect, and it, you will be connected to your, your wireless. Excellent, so now your wireless connectivity will go back home, we'll press the home button. You could have also navigated back to the home screen using the back button, which is the arrow button located over here to the right at the bottom of the screen. Or you could have also accessed your menu through your menu key, which also brings you to system settings. All right, and we'll hit go home. Now your CT7 already comes equipped with some basic apps. For instance, it has an email app. You can click on there to connect to email. In order to set up an account, you just enter your email address and your password. You can do a manual setup if there are some special settings that you'd like for your email. But for the most, for most circumstances, just following the setup wizard will get you the, the activation that you need. Now, if you want to download additional apps, all you have to do is go to the Play Store. You see the Play Store icon here. It's this little shopping bag suitcase looking thing in the corner. Now, in order to, uh, to access the Play Store, you're going to need to set up a Google Play account. Uh, when, you, when you do this for the first time, you will be prompted to set up the account. There's, it's, uh, setting up a Google Play account is very easy. You can either use a, an existing account that you have from, a, uh, from another Android device, or you can set up a new one. To set up a new one, it'll just ask you for some basic information, uh, your, a name, a username, and a password. And unlike the Apple Store, it does not require you to, to attach a credit card automatically to the Google Play account. That way, if all you're planning on doing is buying free apps, then you won't need then you won't need that credit card information, and Google won't have to have it on file. And if you decide to purchase apps that have a price of more than zero, you will be prompted at that time to put your payment information in. So that will connect you to the Google Play Store. So those are the basics of getting started with your CT7. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos in this series about how to get started with your CT3 devices. And if you have any other questions or feedback about the videos, please feel free to reach out to us through uh, social media, we, Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn, or through our website, cedartreetechnologies.com. Thanks for watching, and remember, good things come in tough packages.